doing like not those boxes, those people doing that censoring black content. So I just I get it. What's up, everybody? <clears throat> just finished watching third episode of and just like that and put on a little ts madison afterwards but i thought i'd jump on and say hi since we got such a big response from the last episode well episodes episode one uh i was deeply deeply distraught of episode one and just hopped on wasn't filtered anything just wanted to let everybody know how i was feeling but I'm going to skip to episode three. Just finished that one. And is anybody else feeling funny about Che? Is anybody else feeling funny? Any females out there feeling funny about Che? She's fine as hell. As hell. Like, what is happening? I'm feeling funny. Hmm. We'll uh, revisit that. Anywho, a um, couple of things I wanted to touch on regarding aesthetics. First, that's not Charlotte. That's not Charlotte. The character, uh, Kirsten Kristen Davis, has some work done clearly, and she just does, doesn't look like our Charlotte. Everyone else looks like our girls, but... Miss Davis, uh, I get it. You wanted a, a nip, a nip and a tuck. I'm just not feeling it. Who am I to say that I'm not feeling it? You know, it's whatever, but it's just, it's just how I feel. I'm looking at you, and you don't look like an older Charlotte. You look like somebody else with weird eyes and weird looking lips. But you know, anyway. Um, Sarah Jessica Parker's colorist deserves an emmy her color is reminiscent of hillary clinton's i don't know if you guys watched hillary clinton's documentary entitled hillary i watched it at the um, onset of the pandemic i was watching everything as you guys were at the onset of the pandemic and the color her hair color the layering and the chunks of color it was perfect a little bit of platinum blonde sandy brown and some gray still mixed in there it was beautiful, and Sarah Jessica Parker's colorist deserves an Emmy for that, absolutely. So we see that Natasha is awarded $1 million in Big's will, and here we go. Here we go with our friend obsessing and going out of her mind, wondering, was I enough? After all these years of a happy marriage and his, his, his brother saying that he was completely happy, the happiest he's ever been in his life still one little um morsel of self-doubt just causes a whole onslaught for our carry per usual like i said in the first review she was doomed from the start from the very beginning she self-doubted herself and it seems like even after his end she's still doubting herself until natasha comes to her rescue but she doesn't have to she has every right to be pissed at this lady forever Natasha comes to her rescue throws her a life raft and says nah I we, we didn't see each other I didn't even want the money I told my lawyer or whoever to give it to charity so now she can relax and now she's happy and now I'm just like damn this after all these years still going through like a lot of us after all these years still self-doubt and, and going through and not thinking that we are enough. Uh, Miranda taking shots, <laughs> shot, shot, shots in class, at home. Her and Steve haven't, have sex, haven't had sex for years. I understand like a month drought, I understand that. But years, um, y'all are straight up, straight up roommates with a kid and a fetish for chia seeds on top of your ice cream, which I haven't tried. I'm, I think I'm gonna see what's going on with that. And does anyone else notice that Steve's accent is um, a little exaggerated? Like, it don't sound like our Steve. I don't know. I kind of want everybody to sound and act and look like they used to in the original series. 
with some, you know, believable age. Like Steve just sounds like an exaggerated, uh, he has an exaggerated New York accent. New York accent, and I'm just like, what? You remember how you sounded after all them seasons? Anywho, um, what else was happening? Carrie's wardrobe is perfection. I wish I could walk in heels. I can't. So I have to have sexy flats, as sexy as my flats can get. But her shoes are beautiful. Um, the, her makeup was great. And her outfits are, of course, impeccable. And Miranda. I like how they are loosely basing the storyline of And Just Like That on um, Miranda's real life. As many of you know, she divorced her husband after a couple kids and years together and married uh, a woman. I think her name is Christina. Christine. I'm, I'm not sure. But, um, and they've been together for a really long time. And so I think that is pretty cool how they are aligning her storyline with her real life. So she's going to have genuine emotions and she's going to have to, she will be able to re relive those moments and share with us. So I thought that was pretty cool and I thank her for that. I thought that the scenes with Stanford were um, uh, CGI'd and that made me sad with him and um, Charlotte. That made me sad because he's no longer here. And I was like, damn. I'm sorry, Stanford. I'm sorry if I said, um, I said his name wrong. So RIP to him. And so let's get to Che. I thought, it's, it's weird because I thought that her stand-up was really rehearsed and I really didn't think it was that funny. Maybe it's just me, but it seemed like she was didn't flow as well as she does when she acts because during her acting parts, her speaking parts, I mean, you can't even, I mean, she's just flowing. She's a wonderful actress when it comes to that. And her stand up just is like the converse of that. I'm not really sure why, but I thought the chemistry between her and Miranda, it was evident. I mean, the shotgun. <laughs> the shotgun scene was a, was a wonderful scene. So I can't wait to see how their relationship plays out. But uh, Che is fine as hell. She's beautiful, beautiful smile, beautiful mouth, beautiful face, beautiful everything. So Che left me feeling uh, a little funny. And what do y'all think? I don't know. Uh, this episode was uh, another good one. Um, it's definitely not as good as the original series, but, you know, that is, um, that's definitely um, big shoes to fill. And, but I think they're doing a good job. I can't wait to see what everybody else does in future episodes. I can't wait to see Steve's reaction to Miranda telling him that she is homosexual because that happens a lot. People just want to live their truth, even if they're in their 50s. It's never too late to live your truth. But let me know what y'all think. I'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and check out the video of me and my girls on the Clean Theory at DC. Shout out to Lee and Moni. Love y'all. See everybody real soon. Have a good day. Bye.